Guys, today I'm going to introduce you to Schwarzerwald, a triptych abstract forest. Yeah. This is Schwarzerwald over here. Basically what we did was we took all of these canvases while they were empty and we placed them across this ground over here in a nice straight line. We then took a very muted green and we drew a straight line across it and then lifted them individually so that all those elements would pour down towards the top and create our very distant little trees. We went with darker browns and we created leaves and different splashy fields. We saturated these canvases. It was quite horrific. The mess was uncontrollably all over the place. But that's another story. When we were painting these things, we, we relied a lot on the splashing and saturation to try and create a lot of these marks as they came out. We threw paint. We were quite violent in this, in this medium. We didn't just kind of place things where they wanted. We threw it. We later took a sponge and we just molded all of these areas to, to kind of accentuate our forest a little more because you can only do so much with a pouring, let's be honest. Right after that, we decided now it was time to declutter the saturation. We took a black cloth and we placed it on top of all of the artwork and we let it soak into the fabric so we could remove a little bit of the water and still keep a little bit of the texture and the background effect. These canvases at that point were then transferred outside where we started making mixtures of um, darker colors and creating more of the forest feel. We very quickly found out that the inks versus the initial um, colors that were placed down did not gel. They didn't really saturate in the same way. We took, um, we actually, we swapped over to an automotive product which would not merge between those two um, paint mediums that had been placed on the beginning. And we literally started grafting all of the trees by pouring that quite violently and then lifting those paints, uh, lifting the canvases, we found that the effects were really, really quite fantastic. Thereafter, we started pouring with a lot of diluted automotives. We started pouring out the trees at the top and then we started accentuating all of them by giving them much darker little flicks of color. We did lift the canvases uh, to make more stems, to create more of a depth of field between the, the different uh, effects that happened and then we took a sponge and we we used that to create even more intense leaf structures all the way across the tops middles foreground and background with different intensities of thinners to to interact with them. at this point it was time to clean it up a little bit get all of the the edges nice and clean make sure that the runoff was beautiful and not too crazy at that point we started integrating the water this water itself did not work with a normal conventional acrylic water base. So we had to go with a wood stain, which actually created much more of an in-depth layer and it was a lot more beautiful to work with. We found that it was the, the entire process seemed to just build itself. It was really quite entertaining to watch how it just held in certain places and then it would disappear in others. Really a beautiful, a beautiful decision. If I'm honest, it worked out really, really well. Right after that, in fact, the same day, well, the very next day after this painting had dried, we placed these little accentuations of red so we could separate the two sides and frame the actual forest, giving it almost an ellipse. Later that day, that uh, these paintings were taken across and entered into another exhibition. And that turned out beautifully because they were very well received. I'm overall, I'm really happy with this painting and I really enjoyed the process and the creation of it. Subscribe, like and comment. I'd love to hear your views on this painting. If you'd like to buy this painting, you can. It's on our website right now, paintaddiction.com or you could simply buy plaques of this painting. We have them. Thank you for joining us on yet another adventure. I'll see you next time.